Hey boys and girls, we're back for May 20th, our reading. As always, read for 20 minutes on your own, find a book, get on Epic, get on Rad Kids, um, read an article from the end of your packet. And we're going to take a look again at Lazy Harry, still looking at those first couple pages that we read on May 19th. And we're going to explain what that phrase, birds of a feather flock together. And that's in paragraph six. And we want to know, what does this tell you about Harry's future wife? And then you're going to tell me, what did you learn about his wife? So, this story, we read it yesterday, and we know that he, this boy, was lazy. He disliked working. He hated to work. He found it to be, that term, exhausting, meaning super, super tiring. He didn't want to do it. He groaned. He complained. And so he's thinking he has to solve the problem. Well, yesterday we learned that he solved his problem by finding a wife. That's this woman right here in our picture. Her name was Trina. So he goes to Trina, or he goes to, sorry, Trina's parents. And that's where paragraph six comes in. And it says, so Harry got up, set his weary legs to motion, and went right across the way to Trina's house. He asked Trina's parents to grant him the honor of asking their daughter to join him in marriage. Their parents did not reflect long. They said, birds of a feather flock together, they thought, and they consented. Hmm. Birds of a feather flock together. Well, flock meaning they fly together. Well, who flies together? Well, if you think about birds, Birds fly with birds of the same, that are the same as them. So flamingos fly with flamingos. Owls fly with owls. Eagles fly with eagles. Ducks fly with ducks. You never see a duck flying with an owl. So birds of a feather. So the same birds, you know, all owls, all ducks, all wrens. So the same birds fly together. That's really what we're talking about. So now you're probably thinking, what in the world? Miss Nicole? No. They're not birds. Of course they're not birds. So this is what we call an idiom or a phrase. So same birds, they're flying together. How does this relate to our people in our story? Well, instead of birds, think of it this way. It's the same type of people. So think about that. What do we learn about Harry? We know Harry is lazy. He hates working. He is thinking of a way to solve his problem. He solved his problem. So he is a lazy person who doesn't want to work. So if they're saying birds of a feather flock together, the same type of people go together. Therefore, that means Harry and his new wife, Trina, must be very similar. So if Harry is lazy, we can assume Trina is lazy. Which we find out later as we keep reading that that is what actually happens. By paragraph 8 it says, but wouldn't you know it, Trina was lazy too, just like Harry. They're the same type of people. They belong together. She's lazy. He's lazy. But just like Harry, Harry sat down to think about his problem. Same thing. She set her mind to think about to avoid work, solving her problem. So not only are they both lazy, they both try to solve the problem of avoiding work. So take some time, reread it, write this down in your own words for your writing today, and I will see you back to figure out how does Trina and Harry solve their problem. Have a great rest of your day.